Hello everyone, I just thought I'd do a, a very short video just showing you a fake Game Boy Advance cartridge. You see I bought um, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap from the second hand company Sex or CEX or KEX, however you want to pronounce it. We never pronounce it by its actual name, it's a UK second hand retailer, a big chain of shops, everyone in the UK will know them. But they have a tendency of not checking their, well, the second hand game stuff. They don't check the cartridges or anything if they're fake. And I got delivered a fake game, unfortunately. So, to open up a Game Boy Advance cartridge, you need a toy ring screwdriver like this. Pull that to the side. You kind of push the top off like that. And there you go, you opened it up. Now, with this cartridge in particular, you can tell by two things. One, the most obvious is the spelling of Nintendo's wrong. Nihilende. Sounds like some Swedish version, really, doesn't it? But if you find that the name spelled correctly, stuff like that, a good telltale sign is this black lump of plastic right here. No Nintendo cartridge will have that black lump. If you see it, it is a fake. Pretty much every fake cartridge I ever come across has that black lump. Um, to show you a proper cartridge now, I've got to the... Is the this is an official Nintendo cartridge. I know this for a fact, it's because it is my childhood Pokemon Fire Red and well for start off it's got the name bloody right on it and you notice there's no black plastic lump on it this is what a proper Nintendo cartridge will look like for a GBA but I will add despite many cartridges not actually using a battery for the Game Boy Advance some actually do very few the Pokemon Ruby Sapphire Emerald, they use it for an in-game in clock. I think Metroid Zero Mission use it. Some of Metroid Fusion games use it, apparently, but not all of them, which is weird. I think Breath of Fire by Capcom uses it. I'm looking it up just to be safe. There is, It's very rare, but you do get a few that uses batteries. So, yeah, I think that's basically it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want me to look up other fake cartridges, I'll be up for it. Sorry this video is a bit short, but there's not much else to say really. Right, bye.